Okay, so probably one of the most common uh, reasons we we see people needing to go through probate is because they need to get access to some some bank account. So, you you know, mom's passed away. Uh, there's money in the bank account, and and you maybe go to the bank, and you know you go to Chase, you go to Bank of America, and and they won't give you that. They probably won't even give you any information. They're not going to tell you how much is on the account. Uh, if you ask who the beneficiaries are, and you're not listed as the beneficiary, they're probably not going to give you that information either. Um, and so now you're frustrated. You know what what do you need to do? Well, first. Just because someone had money in a bank account doesn't mean probate's always going to be necessary. What you'll want to look at first is 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 whether it was a joint account. So most commonly, uh, spouses they have a they have a joint checking account together. When the first spouse passes away, the surviving spouse doesn't have to go through probate in order to get access to that money. He or she can just go to the bank um, like they would any other sort of day. And they'll, they have access to the money because it was a joint account. They opened it together. The second one is going to be if there's beneficiaries, right? So if there's a beneficiary on the account, let's say mom had an account. She lists her son as the beneficiary. Mom dies. Uh, the son would be able to go into, you know, the bank, Bank of America, wherever. And they've got his, his information on file. He shows his birth or, or his, uh, his ID and they'll release the money to him, you know, most likely right then and there. Now, if, the, if either of those two situations exist, joint owners or beneficiaries, then you're gonna be able to withdraw that money, right? You don't have to go through probate, you don't need an attorney, you're, you're gonna be able to do that yourself. That happens a lot of the times, right? Now, if you're not the beneficiary, they're not gonna give you that information, right? If maybe mom listed you know, a cousin as beneficiary, they're not gonna tell you. They're, they're only gonna give you that information most likely if you are in fact the beneficiary. All right, but what if there's no beneficiary? What if there is no, uh, it's not a joint account? In that case, you're going to have to open a probate, right? The Most likely the bank is going to want to see uh, a personal representative or an executor. Even if you have a will, right? Even if mom did a will and listed you as the, as the sole beneficiary, you're not going to be able to go to Bank of America, Chase, wherever, show them a copy of the will, in order to withdraw money that's in the bank account. You're still gonna have to go through the probate process, get named as the personal representative, get named as the executor, and then there's a whole legal process, and then eventually you'll be able to withdraw the money. But the first thing you wanna do uh, is just find out if it was a joint account, if you can, uh, or find out if there's a beneficiary, and if e either of those are, are, are the case, you'll get access to the money. If not, then you're gonna have to go through the probate process.